Hello everybody, Dave Anderson from Exact Engineering. Today we're just going to show you a short video of how we take a product that we design, which is this uh, tool probe chip guard, which prevents magnetic chip buildup on our tool probes, and just showing the process quickly of how we take a CAD model, which you see here, of the actual part, and then we uh, program in HSM Works, which runs inside SolidWorks, which is basically Fusion 360 inside SolidWorks. So here's a, here's a cross-section view showing the sections that we're going to be turning. Here we programmed it, we, we faced it a little bit, and then turn the OD, then drill it, and then we bore it. And then uh, the next step, which is kind of cool, which is new to us, is um, we have a live tool laid now. And um, so we can do milling and turning. Uh, it has a Y axis and also a sub spindle. So it's a pretty versatile machine. Uh, we're just going to work on the main spindle today. So here it is in action. Uh, we're doing that little facing operation. We don't have to face the whole thing because we're going to end up boring that off. So there's no sense in running the tool across that whole face. And right now I'm switching tools and I could use the same tool to do this but I don't have the correct insert for the um, CNMG so we're using a DNMG I think it is. And now we're going to bore it open, I'm sorry, drill it open so that we can get a bore bar in there and finish um, bringing it to size. This is a uh, black acetal which is you know, a trade name Delrin. Uh, we looked at making the part out of aluminum and we made some out of aluminum and they worked just fine. But the Delrin, or the black acetal, uh, is less uh, susceptible to marking by you know metal chips hitting it and scratching it up. So I thought that this might keep its um, look a little bit better than a piece of aluminum would, but uh, you could do either. Uh, now that, that we did the milling, now we're going to go in and do chamfering to break the burr and then this side is now done and you can see we have machinable jaws and those jaws have two steps in them one for this side and then the other step is for the back side which we're going to machine next but in order to machine the back side we put a metal insert in there a little insert in there to keep the cylinder from deforming uh, from the clamping of the jaws and now we'll go in and we'll part off, get rid of that little disc, and that'll open up the back side. We can bring our bore bar back in there. And uh, once it's faced off, we'll just do it now. And we'll complete this back side. This, is, uh, this side is, is, is low tolerance, it's, it's just clearance, so it doesn't um, interfere with the tool probe. That's all it is. And now this side's done. blow it off and now the next step is to just remove that insert just push it out with your thumbs and is it completed apart all right well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it take care